Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for episode 23 of the 100 for 100 show. I am your humble villain here to drop some science and knowledge on that ass. So let's get into it. Shout out to you guys tuning in, by the way. Today is an interesting topic. Why are you babysitting the money? Why are you babysitting the money? So let me ask you a question. I have a question for you. Imagine you have a piggy bank. In your piggy bank, you put $2,222 and you don't touch it. Five years later, let me ask you a question. How much money is in that piggy bank? How much money has accumulated in that piggy bank? Hold that thought. Question number two. Has the money gained any value or has it lost value? Has the money that was in the piggy bank, the $2,222, gained in value or lost in value? So, if you answered in five years, the total cash amount is the same and it had actually has lost value and not gained, then why are you babysitting the money? Why are you babysitting the money? Here's the thing. I'm not saying to go out there and become this super consumer and just start gobbling up consumer product shit. I'm saying if you have a business and you are an entrepreneur, the money serves you no purpose just sitting somewhere dormant. I don't know if you guys ever saw that commercial. I can't remember. Uh, it's a brand new commercial that's out right now. And it was talking about it's somebody that goes to the bank and they, they want to make a deposit and the bank teller drops the money and the fucking money falls down into like this big ass pit of money. And there's somebody down there <laughs> like sweeping the money or filing the money and shit. I don't know if you guys seen that video. It is a funny commercial, but literally people are hoarding the money like that. And if you're a business entrepreneur, that is not the way to go. I have quite a few millionaire friends and multimillionaire friends, and they do not sit on the money. They understand that money has to move. It it is it's called currency for a reason. It it moves like the current, the ocean, the water. It has to move. When you keep it stagnant like that, it 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 does nothing. Like two thousand two hundred and twenty-two dollars sitting in a piggy bank. It does nothing. Whether you come back to it in five years, ten years, twenty years. It's going to be the same amount of money. So if you are making some money and you are an entrepreneur, you should be investing your money into things that will help your business grow. Because now you have more of a chance of increasing profits and revenue than the money just sitting there. So maybe you will need to invest in some better software for your business, like Infusion software or some emailing list, AWeber or something like that. Or maybe it will be advantageous for you to hire an assistant or virtual assistant to offload some of that work, that $10 an hour work that you're doing so you can focus on bigger money making projects. Or maybe there's a seminar that you want to take that has to do with real estate or internet marketing or anything. Pay for that seminar. It will pay for itself in dividend. Or maybe there's a program you want to take. Go ahead and pay for that program. But by you just sitting on the money and saying, oh, man, I'm sitting on $10,000. Dude, 
ten thousand dollars ain't gonna be worth ten thousand dollars in the next year. With inflation and everything going up, heck, I, I'll put it like this: a simple cup of Starbucks will make your money deflate. Because if Starbucks goes up on their price, that means the value of your dollar just went down. So if a coffee bean could do that to dormant money, it can do it to anything. A wise multi-million do- millionaire guy told me this. He has his own private jet. He said, when you wrap your mind around this, everything will change for you. When you wrap your mind around this concept, everything will change for you. And the concept is this. All money is someone else's money. All money is someone else's money. He said, once you understand that concept and you understand that no money is your money, it comes through you, it passes through you, it goes to someone else. Your job is to take that money since it's going to go into somebody else's hands anyway. Hey, why not invest it in something that's going to bring it right back to you? I'll give you an example on something. Maybe you want to build your personal brand, right? And you want to start doing YouTube videos. Maybe you might want to get some equipment to do some audio or some, some videos or pay for a program that's going to teach you how to be, to build your own personal brand. Once you, so that money comes into your pocket from your job, right? You take that money from your job, you pay somebody else to show you how to, you know, create your own podcast or, you know, vlog. Then they show you, they take that money and give you information on how to get sponsorship how to monetize your videos, how to get affiliates and stuff like that. Now that same money that you took and you paid for that program is starting to bring you back more money. All money is someone else's money. I hope that helps out, ladies and gentlemen. Peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. I hope this helps out. I want to see you guys shine, make a bucket load of money and enjoy your life. Peace, happiness, and all that good shit. One.